Okay, today I'm going to make a short video to follow on from the last lock picking tool video just to show you the importance of lock wards, uh, how they were invented back in the med medieval times and how we're still using them today. The last video we picked this lock here and it didn't go into too much detail of how the wards work. I'm going to go into a wee bit more detail about the wards, about ward of the keys and skeleton keys that's often misreferred to on eBay and other things they, they, re, re, they refer to this as a skeleton key but I'll show you in a minute why it isn't. This would have been screwed onto your, your average door and here's the mechanism inside which is pretty much the same mechanism as this, a warded mechanism. You can see the wards inside and how a warded key looks. Now you can see how the slots on this one don't correspond with the brass warding on here. So if you try to put this into the keyway, it would get blocked with the wards. This is a skeleton key that forms a sort of skeleton that negates the wards, where it doesn't have to interact with them, it goes around the outside. So this is a true skeleton key. It goes into the keyway and goes around the wards without touching or needing to touch any of them and it's thrown with the top part. I'm going to show you quickly how it worked again and then I'll move on to the next ward and how wards work. Stick that in vice and you'll be able to see how it goes round the wards and throws the bolt in a sort of snapping action because the spring is really quite strong in this one. And there you go, that's how you open a warded lock with a skeleton key. Now the next thing that wards were important for, because you can see there's no wards in the outer keyway and how you can get a skeleton key in. So this is a French lock, and I'll let you see the manufacturer's name on here. It um, might uh, ring a bell with some of you. Now, you must have thought this is a magic key that will open anything but you can see they started introducing wards you can't get this in so to pick this or open this you'd have to use a couple of tools this is a one lever in effect which is the lever here so it's a one lever warded lock that warded in a different way so in this one you would need to use two tools you would need to use this tool to lift the lever out of the way and this tool that kind of looks like an overlifter in modern day lock picking but it's really to uh, get inside the keyway here through these wards and tension into the talon, the bolt so you'd have to use these two in conjunction I'm not going to do it just now because I tried to do it off camera and everything flies to pieces so you use one to lift the curtain lift the lever sorry and one to throw the bolt so wards have been the front line of defence in one way or another either in the form of in the keyway or outside the keyway and even to modern day there's a modern pin tumbler lock with a different internal mechanism completely. But you can see these squiggly lines where the keyway goes is the ward that stops any old key going in there the same as it is here. So the ward is still your first line of defence in your lock for probably the last two or three hundred years. So there you go. There's warded locks, skeleton keys, and modern locks, how the wards still prevent picking and sticking any old thing into your lock now. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.